you are not an official DeLorean owner unless you've been driving, watched your speedometer bounce up and down a few times, and then go dead. Because you've just experienced the almost inevitable failure of the angle drive. I myself waited over 40 years for the privilege of replacing an angle drive and it didn't take very long after buying this thing that my angle drive failed. Interestingly, it was one of the aftermarket angle drives sold by one of the vendors. I think I got about 4,000 miles out of mine. That's the problem with the reproduction angle drives. They're not only a little inaccurate, but they are very hit or miss for longevity. And this is the newly released DMC Ultra Drive. It comes in a complete kit with a new lower speedometer cable, new um, drive cup, new angle drive shaft, some instructions, and of course, the Ultra Drive itself, which is a newly designed angle drive using proper helical cut spiral 90 degree gears designed to last forever. This comes with a five year warranty. Now it's not part of the instructions, but <coughs> removing the uh, tie rod end gives you a lot more room to work because otherwise the tie rod's in the way. I don't know why any of the instructions, including the factory service manual, don't uh, specify removing that. Yeah, lots of room. First step is to remove the dust cap. Mine has clearly already started to come out. And the reason is because I've already been in here and I already, already determined that I had a broken angle drive shaft. But while I could just replace the shaft, that requires removing the angle drive anyway because the, the back of it's stuck in there. What's the point when I can install an angle drive that's gonna last forever? Step two is lightly loosen the spindle nut. It's either a 36 uh, millimeter or 32 millimeter depending on the year of your car. I think they swapped somewhere in the 5000 VIN and you just need to loosen it a little bit. Don't remove it. A breaker bar works or a big ass socket works. And look at that, that loosened the angle drive and not the spindle nut. Next step is remove the lower speedometer cable. Mine comes out by hand because I've already removed it. But if you're doing one and it's stuck, then you need to use some vice grips or pliers. And then just yank that sucker out. Now, ordinarily, it would be a right bitch to remove the angle drive nut, but my impact knocked her loose. Well, this comes right off. But generally speaking, you'd put your big ass wrench on it, put a big breaker bar on the wrench, and then lift up. Or you can put the wrench on, and then put the jack underneath, or a stand underneath, and lower the weight of the car onto it. But I got a break. Then disconnect the speedometer cable from the Lambda counter. Mine's been off recently, but if yours is tight, use a wrench. And pop that right through the hole in the firewall. There we go. Gotta give this thing a good cleaning. Remove all the lubricant and crap off the threads. I can spin the whole spindle within the hub. So it's definitely been replaced at some point because no, normally those things are just seized. None of the manuals specify this, but I'm gonna put some blue Loctite on these spindle threads. I mean, it can't hurt. Considering that this nut holds the wheel spindle into the car, 
I'd, I'd rather have the Loctite than just rely on 165 foot-pounds. Then at this point, it just threads on. A lot of threads. Okay. Now this is supposed to be done with a crow's foot and a torque wrench. I have no idea how that would be even accomplished. Oh, and I'm just I'm just spinning the uh, um, spindle, so I'm gonna have to tighten it from this side um, and hold it on this side. That's not how it's supposed to work. Lose the impact. Well, you may disagree with me. But when I see nuts this big that say some ungodly torque spec, like 165 foot-pounds, I translate that to effing tight. And it doesn't really matter how tight, as long as it's tight enough to seat the taper of the spindle into the, the um, knuckle and keep both nuts from loosening. That ain't coming out. When I ordered the uh, Ultra Drive, I also bought one of these, which is the wire stay that holds the speedometer cable in place, intending to replace it when I did the drive. But now that I see it, I have to disconnect the brake line in order to get this thing on. And um, I do not feel like bleeding the brakes, nor do I have any dot for brake fluid on hand. So this will get done at a later date when I'm messing with the brakes. bit of uh, anti-seize on the tie rod taper. Okay, maybe a lot of anti-seize on the tie rod taper. Some uh, blue Loctite on the uh, threads because this ain't a castellated nut. I mean it's a nylock nut but I don't trust those. So a little Loctite never hurt anything. And that is supposed to be 26 foot-pounds. Close enough. Just about to install the lower speedometer cable, but notice that the uh, jacket here is really slippy. I don't quite like that because it's going to be moving around. So I'm going to zip tie it on the speedometer or on the angle drive end, which I think is probably where it needs most of its protection. That should keep it wandering around too much. A little bit of anti-seize on the threads of the angle drive. And then I gotta get this thing in the firewall and there's like multiple layers of crap that it has to kind of thread through. See it looks like it goes in but that's that's only because it's like between layers. There you go. Just need to engage the inner drive with the 
angle drive and then put on the nut. Now the instructions warn that these nuts might be difficult to uh, thread on because they're die cast, but I don't know, that seemed pretty easy to me. Possibly due to the anti-seize. Just gonna give that a very slight snug with the wrench. There we go, slight snug. Now I guess the real question is whether I'm going to leave the camera on for the 5 or 10 minutes it's going to take for me to get this damn grommet into the firewall. Meanwhile my arm probably blocks all of the shot. Yeah so my car never had this grommet and I mean this is probably the reason why because somebody who replaced the spinometer cable years ago probably spent three seconds looking at it and then saying, nope, I'm not going to put this back in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I just get it past the lip? Well, I think I did. Holy shit. Wow. She's in. Now I have to hook this side up to the lambda counter. And this can be very prone to cross-threading because it's plastic. Oh, that was easy. You know, I feel as though this job was far easier for me than it should have been, but I am definitely not complaining. And a very, very slight snugging with the pliers, because remember, plastic. And it also seems like all the bolts holding my lambda counter bracket are loose. What the hell? Oh, that's because the nut certs are spinning. Of course they are. Well, that's a problem for future me. <clears throat> now I just have to insert the uh, flexible drive shaft into the hub cover slash drive, and Slide it through the spindle, engaging the angle drive. Oh, there we go. Got to spin it a little bit to make sure it gets in there. Where's my tapper? Here it is. And tap it in place. Freaking tight fit. Tight fit is good. Unlike the old one, the factory one, that frequently came loose and needed a bunch of electrical tape wrapped around it. Cool. Well that was actually pretty easy. Just have to give it a spin. Sweet holy crap, I have a speedometer again. nowhere to grip these wheels except by the tire because the spokes are too close together. Always such a pain in the ass to line up. And I think everyone will agree with me that these are the worst wheels in the world to clean. My god. And wheel lugs to 70 foot-pounds. Which not a lot. I always do this with one arm because 70 foot pounds just seems really weak. And that's it. The DMCH Ultra Drive is installed. Um, now, to be honest, I wanted to make a bit of a tutorial on how to do it. But um, I got off really easy with how mine came off. I mean, very rarely in life do I get off easy. Um, title of my sex tape. But that's at least the procedure. So if anyone's installing it, maybe that'll help you out.